All right, so there's a little better look. It's the daytime now. Today's Thursday, guys. Holy crap. Had a long ass day yesterday. Just, uh, just a mess yesterday. A whole mess of stuff going on. Just any the other stuff, but anyway, we got the trailer. Here's a better look at it now. That's the company there, Southwest Express Line or something like that. Looks pretty clean. I just gonna give it a couple washings and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, it needs to be painted in some spots, like the, you know the rail there and stuff like that, just to keep it from rotting. Um, tires are pretty decent. He said he had one side replaced or one axle replaced, something like that for the tire wise, but you know, pretty good. Underneath is pretty clean. Uh, looks worse than what it is. It's all solid. I checked it. He had the thing undercoated, which is actually this stuff that's falling off right now, not rust. Um, so that's a good thing, but everything looks pretty well uh, intact, I gotta say that. Uh, I noticed one thing this morning I'll have to fix, which isn't a big deal. Eventually we'll get some new tires and rims for it, I think we're just gonna rock with these for the uh, winter anyway. Bearings didn't heat up, so that's good. Came around here this morning, I noticed this. I saw this little black box, I was like, oh, I wonder what this is. And I started reading and I realized what it is, actually the breakaway box. So I gotta figure out what the hell goes on there. I can imagine this wire goes to this guy, not really sure, but I'll figure it out or something. But, looks pretty decent, you know. It's definitely a lot better than what I thought it was in the picture. The picture didn't describe much at all, but pretty happy with it. Take you guys inside here. A little better view now. Now that you guys can see. You gotta uh, replace this guy right here. This is all duct taped up and everything. That's not a big deal but I mean like I said for the price it's not bad for 3500 bucks. I'm not gonna complain one bit. Where they have to sink in 500 bucks on it, it's still a pretty good deal because these things sell in my area for about six thousand dollars. Six thousand dollars being a pretty well used and beat up one, and uh, it's actually it's pretty nice shape. It's mainly been used for storage more than uh, used really, which you kind of show that there's a spring loaded tensioner in there. This is what makes the door go up. Makes it nice and simple. Not bad, not bad. How's the roof look, guys? I already saw the roof. There's a little bit of rust around the vent over here. So what I'm thinking is, there's like this one panel. I'll probably end up just spraying white before the winter. I'm not sure if it's just this panel or if it's just this panel and this panel. I have to look on the roof. I don't really remember what it looked like. But, um... Yeah, you know, and then he gave me these things, these things here for like a motorcycle or something like that. Put your motorcycle in there, but we'll never use them. I'll just put them in the basement. I guess they clip right in here or something. Yeah, probably just slip right on in there or something or other. So, whatever. It's so got the D ring hooks and everything. I have to pick up a nice set of ratchet straps for them. The Harbor Freight ones don't do a damn near thing. But, guy says it holds four pretty good. And, uh, there's another leg of it. I could probably get one more back here. I don't know. I have to go out and invest in another snowmobile. No, I'm on screen with you. I'm done buying snowmobiles. Next thing I buy is a bigger truck. But watch how easy this thing is. Like one hand, boom. Get it up just a little bit and just sucks it right up. Boom. Get rid of all these stickers out of here. Friggin' ski don't. Huh. Communication system. Yeah, I've seen a few of these on the trails, but no one's really gonna be using them. License plate, I gotta forgot my license plate on the old trailer, so I gotta grab that one. Grease up all of these fittings, because they could use it. Better look underneath there. I mean, like I said, it, it looks worse than what it is. This stuff here is just undercoating is what it is. 
it's just all flaking off, the guy said. And everything's still pretty solid. I grabbed a hold of them, and, you know, it ain't rotted, so that's good. You know, I just re undercoat everything and do it from there. Gotta get a brake box for the truck, but then again, I might be looking at a new truck because it, it might need it. <laughs> you know, if I could go get a bigger trailer, get a bigger truck, you know. But I highly doubt it. Probably won't be till whenever. So, anyway, I'm gonna get out the heat gun, scrape away at some of these damn stickers. That should be fun. Oh, yeah, here's that side door. And that just leads you into. You know, it's right down there again. Pretty slick, and that's the drive out door. So, that's what we got going on. A new trailer. Huh? Dent. The funny thing about yesterday was uh, we were picking up this trailer. The guy, you know, he's telling us the stories, this and that about it, how he never really used it and stuff like that. How he paid like almost 10 grand for it a while back. And uh, he said, you know, thing. And PJ, uh, PJ goes underneath the trailer and he pulls out some stuff, this, that, and the other thing. And uh, we're getting ready to leave, and PJ's like, oh, is there anything else underneath the trailer? And the guy's like, nope, you're all set. Go ahead, drive away. So Monka goes to pull the uh, truck out, and next thing you know, the freaking guy forgot his blocks that were underneath him. He ran right over the blocks. Yeah, freaking thing just ran right over him. <laughs> Pretty funny. And uh, the driveway, he used one of those, uh, those nice driveways that has a nice asphalt finish on them. Um, and... Uh, my truck slipped on the leaves, and they're hooking everything up, and the guy's kneeling on, like, the, uh, I think it was the bump of my truck trying to rock it up, trying to get the ball up and into the thing, and my uncle, when he was backing it up as I was on, I was actually right next to the guy, and I was getting ready to put the pin in as he rocked the truck down, and next thing you know, the truck slipped, like, it did a little peel kind of, and, uh, next thing you know, the guy's finger was, like, like, centimeters that close of getting his hands demolished. From the trailer and my and the, my ball hitch, he didn't put his hands in the right spot. He had his hands, let's say here's the bumper of my truck, and here's the ball hitch, the the trailer, not the ball, but just the hitch part. The truck came right up and in. It almost jammed his fingers in between the bumper of my truck and the the hitch of the trailer, which wouldn't have been good. The guy definitely would have broke all of his fingers in his in his uh. Pretty much broke all of his fingers, let's put it that way. <laughs> um, so it wasn't a pretty thing yesterday, but we got it here. Uh, truck pulled it pretty good. Um, I got to get a brake box for the truck, obviously. And it's definitely going to need a sway bar for the trailer, uh, which I thought was included in the trailer, but I guess... Oh, that must have fell. Um, I thought that was included in the deal, but I guess he, I guess he never listed I guess it wasn't. So I might potentially buy that off him. Not really sure. We'll have to wait and see. But anyway, I'm going to uh, break out some stuff. We'll get this place clean up here today as well. And uh, different things like that. So, anyway, we'll get back to you a little bit once I'm done scraping some uh, Skidone stickers off. Oh, yeah. i tell you what. Those Southwest Express Line sons of bitches right there. Them stickers. They just don't want to come off. Holy crap, those things are on there. I think we'll be leaving that kind of a decal. But uh, I got the rest of the decals off. I already washed this side. This head looks really clean. Very happy with it, you know. It's a little faded from, you know, just over the years, but shit, a little cleaner. Like, you should have seen the amount of dirt that was just coming off this thing. This side here is still drying. And this side over here is still drying because I just finished it. I won't be able to get really. Yeah, I guess I can get in there today. There's enough for to go to. Uh, 16, 18 inch spacing. So that worked out pretty good. But uh, one thing I noticed, I was saying last night, I thought these studs were two feet on center. No, no, they're actually 16 on center, which is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. So that works out pretty good. Um, let's go through this door. So let's check for leaks. I was already up on the roof. I had the ladder. I figured out. Yeah, this will uh, take a quick little look. No leaks, which is good. Uh, one thing I want to build in here is I get this uh, nice sheet of furniture grade plywood and I want to build like a small little cabinet either 
on this wall, or actually, it'll probably have to be on this wall because that's the drive out door. So I want to build like a small little cabin. I don't want to put uh, you know, hinges on it, and it'll hold just the snowmobile helmets and maybe a small rack underneath where it can hold some jackets and stuff. So that should work out pretty good, but damn, this is big. Awesome. Oh yeah, and this guy here must have came undone, the spring load tensioner. Yeah. Yeah. This guy must, oh yeah. Oh, wait a minute. It's just tangled. Is it tangled? Yep, that's what it is. There it is, and I guess, Oh, that's that way this piece here doesn't go wailing out on you. It's the wind don't take it, so it's just missing the hook, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. But, oh, it's a little dirty. There's one thing on this door here I gotta fix too. Probably it didn't blow off yesterday. It's just this piece of uh, aluminum here. Didn't really go too, too crazy on the diamond plate. I had to get a special chemical for that. I tried scrubbing it. Clean it up as best I can, but like I guess it's still dirty. I got some other stuff I can use on it. This guy here, this stuff's pretty much on there. This is gonna get painted up, made it look a little prettier. You know, painted black. So, anyway, back to work we go. Well, she's all clean now. I got uh, the other side. Oop. Almost all clean. I just noticed these guys. Yeah, those are gonna be fun. But anyway, so I get this side all washed out. Just went behind it to quickie. And uh, now I'm actually getting ready to go on the inside. Ooh, damn, there's a lot of water there. You know, I'll splatter that. Is this one good? Yeah, that one's good. Just made it. So, okay, so yeah, I guess there is a seal missing. I guess that's why that was leaking. I noticed this piece over here is falling off. I have to re glue it or something. Doesn't take much. Yeah, glue just came out. A little bit of liquid nails, so I'll hold that in. Missing the top piece. Look. So, I'm getting in here now, just going to wipe down the walls with a little bit of uh, acne cleaner and, uh, you know, sweep her out and uh, maybe throw a couple of sleds in here. Yeah, get that one out of the shop out of there. Sweet! Alright, it gives us time for an update. Man, I'm getting tired today. Alright, so here's where we're at. Uh, I ended up... Well, let's start from the front, I guess. Screw this. Ended up washing all the walls. Got all the walls clean, all the aluminum trim clean. I washed the ceiling, as you can tell, it's a little bit more whiter now. Looks a shitload better. It's actually a lot better. Uh, so the ceiling's done, all this aluminum trim's done, fine trim's done. Uh, all the walls going around, all the wall panels, I uh, polished. Diamond plate that comes across here, as you can see. Come on, freaking poke it out. There we go. That came out pretty clean. Ah, uh, let's see. I swept the trailer and then I blowed it with a little uh, pistol grip for the compressor there. And then I came into this door, sprayed the entire thing down with truck bed coating. I used the uh, wire wheel first, went nuts. I did the front hitch here. Looks a little better here. I was rusty looking. Same deal on this side. You know, it's a little dusty. So that's done. Uh, next thing I'm actually getting ready to do is just get some uh, some penetrating oil. Some of these D rings are a little bit stiff, so I'll just work with those a little bit. Get those done. Some are actually bent up like this one. There's about five of them that are like that. Right there. Right there. Right there. And this one down there. So, wire wheeled all this and I actually ran out of uh, friggin' uh, truck bed coating so I couldn't continue anymore. 
Uh, you know, it's going to be the best I can get in these seams here because you just can't go too, too nuts. You know, tiny ass little wire wheel. But hey, I got it down in the metal in some spots, you know. So I just can't go too, too heavy. So I got that done. And, uh, you know, things are looking pretty good. Things are looking really good, actually. Marco said he's got some kind of a polish I could use on the side of it. He said he might do it himself and just uh, do the side of it to get the haze out. Still a little bit of a haze there, but I think it's fine. But he wants to have fun, so whatever. Let him. But, um, oh yeah, I banged out all this too. This piece here, this little channel here is all mangled up in some areas because of the studs. So, yeah. But uh, I do plan on getting, eventually, more of these mats. I want a whole strip of it that goes from, you know, from there to the door, there to the door, and then one on the door that's out there. But that'll cost me uh, about $260, I think I said, or they said, rather. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. This is kind of sort of going to be top priority. I'll order this guy up tonight. It's funny, when I used to work at the uh, RV dealership, we used to have hundreds of these things because people would just trade, get rid of them. They'd tell us to fix them because of the, um, it's just, it's just because these change a different color, different yellow, and people get kind of sort of pissed off about that. And it's a very common problem with them. And I remember we used to replace, oh shit, probably at least two or three of these in a month. Because people didn't want to deal with the uh, deal with the color inside their motorhome, and it used to it used to be pretty funny. I mean, you used to have a whole shelf full of these, but uh, we ended up just getting rid of them all. That's pretty funny. Luckily, these are cheap. If I do remember correctly, uh, this one here should only be about I don't know, maybe 50 bucks. If I remember correctly, I mean, it's been a couple of years since I replaced one of those, but they're pretty simple. You can get this sticker off. It's like a Registration sticker, someone must have stuck on there. Same deal there. Must have said Maine or something. Cleaned up this. It's cleaned up pretty nice. A little switch there. Oh, autofocus. But I mean, I washed everything, cleaned everything out. Freaking everything was just so grimy in here, all dirty and stuff, but definitely a lot cleaner now. So, anyway, I'm gonna get back to work here, grease a little bit of stuff up, and uh, then go on the video, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah. McDonald's is a. Uh, Help me out with the sweet tea. Come on, there we go. Let's say happy holiday. What the frig? Holy shit. Sorry, you got snowflakes on it. What the hell? You must think it's Christmas already. Don't you know Thanksgiving is almost here? Jeez, Halloween was just last night. Well, one of the cats found a new home. Just crawled right up and in there. Oh yeah, we got the Zero 700 up in here. Freaking right, it actually drove up a lot better than what I thought. I thought it was going to be a lot worse because, well, these studs right here, these are the max studs I put on, and these things just rip through anything. That's no joke. The last trail I had fucking ripped the thing to shreds. But I went up pretty good. Uh, definitely need the mats. That is going to be the key, is to get some mats. we got to get more of these and run them all the way down. And down, unless I can find like some old, uh, some old like gym mats, you know, I'm talking about like the ones that are in the weight rooms, that would work out pretty good. But when I was cleaning up in here, I noticed these holes. There's two here, two there, two down there, and two down there. And uh, I'm wondering if I can get some more one by one inch uh, square tubing, and if I can make my own rails like how my old trailer had it. So if that works, I'm gonna be able to do that and I'll probably grab another tube of them and I'll grab four of them, or actually I'll need two of them and uh, take it from there. So I might have to invest into that. So anyway, we're gonna talk to you guys all tomorrow. Until then, go buy a new self and four place trailer. Because it's just gonna work awesome now. Sabercat's gonna fit in here. ZR, uh, ZRT 800 is going to fit in here. My uncle's Wildcat's going to fit in here. That'll be pretty cool. Kick ass.